another number 12 is talking about oh. their future. Yeah. And I would imagine that would be one Aaron Rodgers. What do you have over there? Aaron Rodgers. Is he on Pat uh, show? It's a Tuesday. So it's a it's Tuesday. Must have been Aaron, Aaron's back on Pat looking good. Okay. Uh, just said, quote, about being coming back. Not ready mentally or emotionally to make the decision. Okay. Quote, I just need some time. I'm either all in or I'm out. So Aaron's still thinking things over. I don't understand what that means. Well, you're either all in. I'm either like 100%. Gung ho, let's do this. And if you're even a fraction of that, right? Eh, I'm, out. Out. I'm out. If you're thinking yeah. about retiring, you've I already mean, retired. I'd love for some person to basically say, you know what? I will come back half-heartedly, and I have done that. <laughs> or if you're just like, I'm doing it for the money. I'm back because uh, I, yeah, I'm doing it. My, my, my heart's million. half in it. Yeah, sixty. Million. You know, I, I look. I as you know, I hope he plays. the The league's far more interesting with twelve quarterbacking the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So maybe he's saying I'm all in or out, meaning uh, I'm I'm all in on the Packers or I'm out, not like I'm going to try and force a trade somewhere else. You know. You want to talk about a gold rush. If the 49ers put a for sale sign out on their quarterback situation, forget who would, it. Who would you rather have? Brady or Rodgers? Yeah. I mean, wouldn't you take the younger guy? Wouldn't you? I don't know. They both look pretty good. Wouldn't Rodgers play at least 45? You would think. There? But that you know what the one thing the, the Niners aren't doing is putting a for sale sign out for an insanely expensive quarterback pushing 40. That has just not happened. Or over 40. Well, you take Brady because you can get him half price. Maybe. You got, I, I, I'm just, yeah, you know what Rodgers' price tag is. Yeah, you know what it is. And then, and then, by the way, <laughs> this is just total sports talk radio fodder because you yeah. know – as you even said in Overreaction Monday, one of your, your uh, topics for it was Brock Purdy's done enough to be the week one starter next year. I actually believe that, I think. And could you imagine if the San Francisco 49ers win the Super Bowl with a guy who they drafted on a flyer, one would think, at the end of a draft and is – on their rookie contract just one year in with three more to go. Oof. And and not just any rookie contract, like the bottom of the draft barrel. I mean, that's the dream is to draft a kid and win the Super Bowl within his first contract and first three years so you don't have to wow. you're not paying him. You're not you're not you're not paying him. I mean, all right, all right, Rich, ready? and so you ready what a this? dream. I mean, you want to talk about that dream you ready for this? come true. True. Brock Purdy signed. He's the last pick of the, uh, as we know, the 2022 draft. Got a right nice signing bonus of $19,000. Get out of here. Yeah. By the way, 19 problems, right? I mean, that's uh, Debo's number. Yeah. His $19, salary this season, he has a base salary of $705,000. That's insane. That's like insane. And they can win the Super Bowl with him, and we're not stuttering when we say that. You and I both oh, know not, the way he just played against yeah, Seattle, yeah, yeah, and I understand Seattle's defense is not yours in Dallas, TJ. We get it. Mm -hmm. I get it. There's no Micah Parsons in Seattle. There's also and no, there's no I mean, there's a Diggs, there's a Diggs in Seattle, yeah, but, true. you know, um, yeah, man. Big bump next year. He's going to jump up to 870. Wow. <laughs> what a dream. So, yeah, they're, they're, you know, that's, that's, that's not happening. Yeah. They're going to stick with one of their guys. And that, it could be a Purdy Lance um, death chart. Well, it's and, probably and going to be, right? It's, yeah, that's or, the, or this kid's just the, de the real deal. Yeah, it's going to be Purdy. the next Brady. Well, we'll find out. Being the next Brady would mean to win it. But in the rookie year, your first year, that's, that's Warner stuff. That's Kurt stuff. That's the stuff of Warner. They truly make movies out of that. Kurt, Brady Kurt, was just a second-year starter. Kurt was MVP that year. I know. If Purdy wins the Super Bowl, do you think he could be the MVP? Uh, well, guess what? Purdy's going to be. How is Purdy not offensive rookie of the year? I only played how five. is Cooper not on that the minute? Played five games. That does, doesn't matter. Well, I'd vote I, for him. I think it does. But. Coop was on that. He was. Right away. Hey, Dad, can Brock Purdy win offensive rookie of the year? I think he said that after he won his second game. I'm like, let me look that up. Certainly, I had to leave the room to look it up. Certainly, if I know that Susie's listening, I did not have my phone on me. I left <laughs> it in the room so I could be present. Mm. 
<laughs> well, she's listening. So. <laughs> that's true. I'm not saying that just to make it up because I think because my it kind of sounded like that's what no, it was. no. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I mean, had I not told you that she texted us, would you have said that? No. So, okay. <laughs> this is pertinent information for a specific member of our audience. But, but Coop was on it. Coop was on it. Purdy's making nineteen has a nineteen thousand dollars signing bonus. Nineteen thousand dollars signing bonus. And he bonus. can win the Super Bowl for him. And that's <laughs> one thousand percent possible. Nineteen thousand signing bonus. Insane. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern for free.